Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, if you don't like the heat and humidity, you are loving today. Temperatures in the 70s, humidity nice and low. We keep this type of weather around for at least a couple of days, then some changes on the way for the weekend. Right now, let's get you to live Pinpoint Doppler 12, completely dry across southern New England. I want to take you in a little bit closer to McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket. Perhaps you're heading to the Paw Sox game tonight. 7 o'clock, 74 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Because we have such a dry air mass in place, temperatures cooling off quickly down to 68 degrees towards the latter part of the game. A little breezy as we take a look at the Newport Bridge from Down City, Providence. Temperature is 77. Winds out of the west at 15 miles an hour. Humidity, a very low and comfortable 29%. 73 right now in Smithfield, 70 Newport. Some breezes off of the water as of late and westerly, pushing temperatures down to the low 70s. Satellite picture shows a few clouds overhead. Notice this big swirl in the clouds just to the north of us. This is a center of low pressure. This will swing down a spoke of energy, we'll call it, for tomorrow afternoon. That will bring in a few extra clouds, maybe a sprinkle, but most of the day nice and dry, similar to today. All right, very nice for sleeping weather tonight. Just open up those windows. Mostly clear skies. Temperatures down to around 54 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Notice I have put a few extra clouds, especially right around 3 o'clock. 75 is your temperature at that point, and down to around 73 by early evening. Temperatures in places like Pawtucket, Providence in the mid-70s, Central Falls 75, Rumford 75 degrees, and North Providence 75. Increase in clouds a little bit in the afternoon with 76 in Cranston, 76 in Breezy in Warwick, Riverside 75, and 75 in Barrington. Along the south shore tomorrow, because those winds coming in primarily from the north and northwest, our coastal temperatures not that much different from the inland temperatures. 75 westerly, 74 Narragansett, West Greenwich getting up to 76 degrees. Northern Rhode Island temperatures comfortable, maybe a little cooler than today because of the extra clouds in the mid-70s. And out across the Cape and Islands, temperatures in the low to mid-70s with 73 in Hyannis. At the beach, looking great, 73 is our air temperature. And actually some good news from Hurricane Alex. Right now it's a strong Category 1. The track has now changed. Instead of to the northwest, it's now just to the west. This will take it over Mexico. It may briefly become a Category 2 before it goes over land. And then over the next several days, it will weaken over Mexico. However, hurricane warning still out for southern coastal Texas because those hurricane force winds will extend out from the center of the storm, even though the center of the storm should miss Texas. All right, closer to home, seven-day future cast, 76 tomorrow, Friday, 77, 84 degrees Saturday, and then look at this. We really bring on the heat for the 4th wow. of July, 90, quite hot and humid. We're talking about great beach weather as we approach the holiday weekend. Firecracker hot. I just want to make a quick correction. Uh, Supreme Court nominee Kagan would replace retiring Justice John Paul Stevens. We had a little okay. there. Okay, thank you. Coming up.